Trust friends, welcome back to the grind. It's day 50-something. 50 50-something 50 or other. Playing as white against Bruff 4 from the UK. Knight of 6. Kind of tempting to just go attack that knight. Mm, kind of tempting, kind of tempting. Hmm. Yeah, we could pin that knight straight away. Would be kind of fun. Mm. Kind of tempted to try it, actually. Um, Do we take or do we not take? Do we just play normal? Hmm. If he pushes e6, he's just pinning his knight either way. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play normal. It was an idea, but I don't think I'm going to go for it. Hmm. <clears throat> bishop b6, or bishop b7, huh? Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Just thinking out loud here. Interesting. Could go for like a very early bishop b5 and just take this knight. I was expecting him to play the bishop b7 next. Hmm. Might be kind of interesting to just open up his d file that way. Oh, let me think. Can I just exchange on e5 at this point? Is that the idea? Um, no, you know what? I'm going to keep the light square bishop, just play normal. I think I could have pushed e5 with the knight at this point, though, but it's okay. I'll just play some developing moves. He's really locked in his queen and his light square bishop. Yeah, his light square bishop only has like one option here. Maybe I should have just taken that knight and just forced him to stack his pawns on the c file. I don't know. I feel like I could push up c4 at this point. But I think I'll just castle and play normally. Probably knight d2 next, followed by c3. Yeah, his queen is very blocked in. Yeah, I think at this point we sort of have to push e4, right? Uh, let's see, he's probably going to... Oh, what's he going to do here? I think we need to do control. I think we can't let him push e5 with the pawn. I think that's the idea. I also could push up c4 at this point. Uh, what's the idea here? I think in London system, you push up c4 if the bishop can't protect d5. Hmm. So it's either c4 or e4 here at this point. Let's think boom, boom, takes, take with the light square. Knight takes, takes with the knight. So I should be winning that exchange. I have see he's got two defenders i have two defenders don't i need like one more to win though let me think this through boom 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 i'm going for it if he doesn't take i'll just push up e5 and just try to kick his knight is that right? So I think he's going to push g5 next. I kind of wish I had like played h3 a little bit earlier. I'm pretty sure he's going to jump his knight. Hmm. Or do I just take here? Maybe I just take. Hmm. 
Hmm. I could pin his bishop next. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to be able to put a rook on an open file, which I think is good. I think he's just going to be playing force to take here, right? Oh, he goes that way. Interesting. I think that's good. I think that allows me to actually bring the bishop back. I think that's okay. It gets his knight off of f6, which I think is good in the London system. Yeah, I'll just move back. Don't have to think too hard here. He might go something like b4 next. I still want to get my rook out on the open file. Tax the pawn. That's fine. I can just push c3. He's probably going to be looking to um, punish or try to take b2. So I think in that case, it's going to be okay to either get the queen out to c2 or the rook out to b1. I'm kind of tempted to go queen c2 in case he castles. I can just really quickly snipe a pawn. I'm going to go queen c2, connect the rooks. Oh, he castles queenside. Okay, that's interesting. And that makes things kind of a little bit more exciting for me. Well, let's think about this. I wonder if I can throw the knight out. Let's think. Boom. Takes, 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 takes. I think I'm just winning on e5, right? I have either e5 or c4. I think c4 is a better move, but I mean, I can more or less pin his pawn here. Okay, he'll probably push g4 next, I imagine. I think it's going to be okay to play knight e5 already. Let's think. He really just has two defenders. I have one, uh, two, three. Well, no, no, no. Let me recount that. One, two, three. He's got one, two. Yeah, I'm just going to push knight e5. Just try to sort of break this open here. I think I should be winning a piece. Could be wrong, but the knight on D two probably needs to go somewhere next. It's kind of in a funky spot. And this Dark Sword Bishop is in a really bad spot now as well. Hmm. Interesting. So he'll probably push again. I think I have to take. So at the bare minimum, I can at least try to trade some pieces off in the center here. I'm just going to make an equal trade. Okay. Probably look for another equal trade here. Now, I don't like the position of this dark square bishop. It's going to get locked in here if he makes one more move. So 
Um, also, I could try to threaten. Hmm. This is kind of, yeah. Bishop f5 is kind of interesting move. Hmm. Does it really do anything, though? It pins the pawn, but this pawn's protected. It's kind of a risk play, I feel. I think he'll notice it. And then if I don't get any value out of it, I'm just kind of wasting a move. Maybe I attack the knight instead. Oh, no, he can just take. I was hoping he could take the pawn here, but... Hmm. I'm going to move that. Also do have a check this way. Okay. Now I'll just start trading off whatever. Okay. So it looks like we're just kind of in a race to see who can break the other person's castle first. Uh, I do have a check, but what does it really accomplish? Not a whole lot. Maybe I just go for the check. I don't know. Hmm. I try to kick his knight. Maybe if I kick his knight, I'll force him to move, and then I can pressure this pawn. It's just an idea. But I do like the pawn structure, though. I want to keep my knight in this position because I feel like there's going to be some options for four king. It's sort of in his king side corner here. Yeah, I can go for the check, but it's just kind of a waste of move in my opinion. I don't know. What is the play here? I can try to snag one of these pawns, maybe. Maybe getting the knight out onto e5 again is the play. I'm not super sure here. It's kind of a... I think. I guess if I can get the pawn out onto C or uh, the knight out onto C six, it wouldn't be like the end of the world. You haven't been able to find like an amazing move this game. It's a very uh very even game. Two minutes on that one move. Not bad. Okay. I'm willing to bet he's going to try to start doubling up. Hmm. I'm just going to go attack the bishop.
What's the trade-off? I think I have a good move here. This attacks his queen, so he'll be forced to do something here. And then I do have a check here, here. Either knight a7 or bishop a6. They'll probably want to defend e7 to prevent this fork here. Would be kind of cool to like if he moves his queen to e8 for example i could go like bishop b5 find a check and then try to win a queen that way i don't think he's going to do that though i think he's just going to attack the knight with the queen also if he takes oh never mind never mind never mind Forget everything I was just about to say. Okay, probably the best move so far. I do have a check and then I can win a pawn. Hmm. I could continue to try harassing his queen. Uh, maybe that's not that good at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Taking the pawn seems pretty good. Either harass the queen or take the pawn. I don't really like the knight going off on like such a side quest here. But yeah, I don't know. Harass the queen. I don't have a good follow up move after this, and then I'm just really just losing a bishop. I can at least bring it back. Oh wow. He doesn't He doesn't go for it. So I kinda wanna move the bishop out of the way now. Hmm. Oh, this could be kind of interesting. Could attack his queen again. I'm gonna go for that. Depending on where he moves his queen, there may be an option to find a check somewhere. Okay. Yeah, so there is a check here. I don't think it's very good, but... Maybe we just start trading off. Um, check, and then how do I follow it up? Could attack the queen this way. I'm just going to continue to look for checks. I don't know. Oh, my bishop's kind of hanging. Oops. Probably should keep that in mind. I think I'm going to have to be forced to go back to a4. I don't want to lose the knight. Yeah, this was maybe not the best move. Don't even have to think twice about that. <laughs> it's fine. Bruff four, you're hired. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, what can we do? We really just have to like just trade everything off here. I think he's going to be looking for a mate here. We do still need to be careful. I probably want to remove the pin here at some point. So he does have, he's going to have three pieces uh, attacking. So can either remove the pin. Pretty sure he's gonna push the pawn next. Let's think. Trade off. Trade off. Yeah, this is defended. Probably just push up, right? Hmm. This is kind of blocked. And I'm probably taking longer on this than I should, but. I just want the attacker remaining here. Uh, that doesn't seem very good. Uh, you guys are probably going to give me such a hard time about this position. I already know it. I just don't want to screw this up and lose to some really corny mate. I don't know, maybe I just attack his knight. His knight, his rook, that's what I meant to say. I think if he pushes his pawn, I'll just push up g3. That's the goal. Okay. Hmm. Probably just going to start getting the king out of the way. He has to move his rook. I mean, both of his pieces are under attack here, so he probably has to move his knight. I feel like I spent way too long on that last move, move 27. Um... I think that'll be the first thing that I do in the game review is just go back and look at move 27. I'm just I'm just not sure what the move back here was. Yeah, I just want to get be able to get my king out into this corner here and at least defend it by like one rook or something. I think it's just going to simplify the game a lot. Okay. So I can take a knight here, which is probably important. He'll win a bishop. Probably don't care about that at this point. Could always like over defend that too, but I don't know. Taking a piece just seems good. I know he'll win a piece, but it also kind of blocks in his um, pawn from coming into. Uh, probably fair to just trade rooks off here. Uh, my uh, my pawn's pinned, which is annoying. 
I don't want him to take the pawn. No, queen is just in such a bad spot. Hmm. Maybe just protect this way or something. I could win a rook if I can get my queen out onto g5 and just pin his rook. Just take it that way. Uh, but then he could just defend it. I'm going to be losing this pawn. Maybe I just go... No. I think I have to just add another defender to the pawn. I think the problem here is that he's going to be promoting, I feel. I go here, I lose a rook. I go there, I lose a rook. Oh. <laughs> I have to attack his other rook somehow. Now, if I go there, I lose a rook. If I go here, it's GG. <laughs> Maybe I just have to lose a rook at this point. Yeah, maybe I have to sack a rook. I think I have to sack a rook, unfortunately. Yeah. That uh, kind of sucks. Yeah, he can win a rook this way, but I think I should be better off in the long run. Yeah, I saw that coming. Um, it's fine though because we're just gonna trade these rooks off after I go e1. Uh, I guess he could go like e2 or uh, a2. Sorry. I think if he goes a2, though, he's going to be worse off. I'm pretty sure he's going to go a2. That was a rough string of moves to go from like a 9-point advantage to a 3-point advantage. He's probably going to take this pawn. Oh, I think he just went, won a queen. Damn it. <laughs> oh, please don't notice this. Oh, I should have protected the F pawn. No, oh, I can't have my queen and my king on the same rank like this. Ah, oh, damn it. That sucks. Oh well. Ah, oh, man, what a bad string of moves. Man, that was really rough. That was really rough. Ah. Uh, my queen was just in such a bad spot there. The thing is, I don't think he's going to be able to protect all these pawns. I think that's going to be his problem. Man, I can't believe I went from 
plus 9 all the way down to like minus 2. That's crazy. There was one position, I think when he had lined his, uh, when he lined his rooks up on the G file, I couldn't find the right defense there. Yeah, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for those moves, but yeah, whatever. Okay, how are we going to do this? Wish me all the best. Uh, Wish me the best. I can't believe I'm going to throw this game away. That would just be so unfortunate, man. Yeah, bummer. One second, guys. Sorry about it. Okay, and this is how we help. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna lose this one, man. It's so embarrassing. Ugh. Man. Rough game here, man. Rough game. Very, very rough. I mean, I know it's not over. Oh, he didn't go that way. Interesting. Mm, there's like a little bit of hope. I think he should have taken with... Um, I think he should have taken with the rook there, personally. Oh, well, now it's like super GG. Oh, damn. Uh, I should have went the other way. Uh feels really bad. Man, he just found really good moves at the end there, and I was just finding really bad moves. Not not at the end, but um towards the center when he had the attack on my king side. I just wasn't finding the right moves. Yeah. Damn. 
Eh, it's a bummer. Oh well. Oh well. He played well. He played well. Good game, Bruff4 from the UK. Very well played. Yeah, it feels bad. He hung his queen and then I just couldn't find the moves. <laughs> uh... I'll just play a couple more moves and then give it to him. I mean, I'm tempted to play for stalemate, but... I'm kind of tempted to just resign and not waste his time either. But... Yeah, GG, man, GG. Yeah, he's just going to ladder mate me, and then I'll be GG. Ugh. I'm going to try to just play this out to stalemate. I mean, there's like an odd chance that he messes up. Pretty slim, but you never know. Boom, boom. Yeah, he's like two moves away. We'll just play it out. We'll give him the uh, satisfaction of checkmate here. Uh, GG. Man, feels bad. Feels really bad. <laughs> I'm really salty about this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Looks like I just blundered. Made one really bad blunder here. So, there's just one position that I'm curious about. Looks like here, just getting the king out of the way was the play since the pawn was protected by the queen. So moving to h2 was better. And just getting the queen out would have been much better here. And getting the rook out. Hmm. Yeah, queen g2. Queen g2 would have been much better. If he checks, I just take. Yeah, the queen or the king would have been much better off sort of behind this pawn. Yeah, this whole back rank situation is just really unfortunate. That was a good find by him. And I blundered here, huh? Yeah. This was probably my worst move of the game, was just not recognizing that he had the skewer on the queen. That was that was pretty bad. That was really bad. That's basically where the whole game just got thrown away. Well, let's just look at some of the moves at the beginning of the game. Let's see if we could find anything. Okay, so pushing e5 would have been a little bit better instead of taking here. So it forces knight to go somewhere. Knight d7, yeah, it forces his knight back. And then where we could, where could we go? Push a3, okay. Yeah, so a5. Or, uh, excuse me, e5. Yeah, I guess creating this pawn chain would have been pretty good, huh? Okay. Yeah, queen on c2 was just really bad. The queen basically just did nothing the whole game here on c2. I wasn't expecting him to castle queenside. So I the reason for c2 was so I could try to snipe a pawn since he didn't have a knight on f6 here. So in the event that he castled, which I guess it wouldn't have even mattered, right? Because he, re he already moved his h pawn. So I guess that was just bad thinking. Yeah, if the pawn was on h7, it would have been a different story. But since he already went to h6, I guess that, that whole idea didn't even matter. Yeah, I was just really expecting a kingside castle from him, that's the thing. 
I'm surprised reading, putting a rook on an open file is bad. All good moves so far. This was a blunder. Yeah, that was a good move. This is a bad move, huh? Good move. And then obviously he just blunders his queen, which we evened out. <laughs> so taking here was the wrong idea. What was the idea here? Couldn't quite find it. Queen h7. Rookie 8. I figured he would have just tried to attack. Oh no, he would have had to move back, huh? All right, because this threatens his rook. And then I could just take this pawn, which is pretty valuable. Uh, and then it kind of gets rid of the pin here. Hmm, right. Yeah. Really, I think the biggest mistake that I made this game was just leaving the queen on c2. I think that was worse than anything else because the queen was just so inactive the whole entire game. And if it would have been anywhere else, I feel like it just, it would have been so much more valuable. Okay. Getting the queen out was the idea. And then it all kind of fell apart after these couple moves. I was also thinking there was this idea here, but then the main problem was that's just a free rook because this pawn is still pinned. So yeah, he played well with the rooks. He did play well with the rooks. I'll hand him that much. Yeah. Uh, not seeing g2 was a bummer. Uh, f1 was just such a bad move. Uh, feels bad. <laughs> I'm really salty about this game. <laughs> I'm really, really salty about this game. I should have protected the f1 here. <laughs> Oh, man. I just had so many good chances, and I just wasn't seeing them. That just feels really bad. And then it was basically GG after this point. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's okay. It's just one game. I'm just going to learn from it and move on. But uh, GG, bro, 4. It was a good one. And uh, see you guys in the next game.